300 years manufactured. At age 7, it's customary in Sparta, the boy is taken from his mother, plunged into a world of violence, manufactured by 300 years of Spartan warrior society to create the finest warriors the world has ever known. This forces the boy to fight, starves them, forces them to steal and if necessary to kill. Shown to show no pain, no mercy, constantly tested, tossed into the wild, left to pit his wits and will against nature's fury. It was his initiation. Baptised in the fire of combat, taught never to retreat, never to surrender. Death on the battlefield for Sparta was the greatest glory he could ever achieve in his life. If, as Philip II of Macedon was conquering Greek city-states left and right, Sparta was left alone. Philip had achieved a crushing victory and Sparta was relatively weak and without walls. Philip sent a message to the Spartans saying, if I invade Laconia, you will be destroyed, never to rise again. The Spartans replied, if. An old man wandering around the Olympic Games, looking for a seat, was jeered at by the crowd until he reached the seats of the Spartans. Whereupon every Spartan younger than him and some that were older stood up and offered him their seat. The crowd applauded and the old man turned to them with a sigh saying, All Greeks know what is right, but only the Spartans do it. Plutarch about Leonidas Xerxes wrote to him, It is possible for you by not fighting against God, but by arranging yourself to my side, to be the sole ruler of Greece. But he wrote in reply, If you had any knowledge of the noble things of life, you would refrain from coveting others' possessions. But for me, to die for Greece is better than to be sole ruler over the people of my race. When Xerxes wrote again, Hand over your arms. Leonidas replied, Come and take them. This is my movement. Come and get them. Thank you.